everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a really nice baked pasta for dinner and it's baked macaroni with tomato sauce, chorizo and peppers. And now I'm using a green pepper but I'm using a little bit of mushroom too. Uh, that's what I have left in my fridge, so that's what we're using tonight. Now on my stove top I have a large pot of water and it's boiling, it's come to a boil. I have a bay leaf in it and about, I don't know, a tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna use 375 grams of macaroni. That's half of one of these packages. By the time my macaroni is done, um, my things that I'm frying up in a saute pan that's preheating right now with some olive oil will be done as well. Now you wanna bring that pot back up to the boil as quickly as possible. After you add the macaroni, the temperature will have gone down. So we're just bringing it back up. I'm gonna put the lid on. You wanna stir it to make sure everything's not sticking. All right, so I have one link of chorizo sausage. Yum, what could be better than chorizo? I love it. So I'm just going to um, chop it into medallions tonight and I'm going to pan fry them. I'm gonna saute them just to get them a little bit browned. In my pan, I also have another little sausage. We had sausage for lunch today on the grill and they're just black, black um, pepper and sea salt sausages. And I've taken them out of the casing and chopped them up there in my pan right now as well. Oh, chorizo is beautiful. It's a pork sausage. It's nice and spicy. Look at this. Oh man, you can just see that chili in there. If you wanted to, you could take the casing off this, but on the chorizo, it's not necessary um, today. I wanna get the meat going first, and then I'm gonna add some of the vegetables so that it can lend that gorgeous, meaty, smoky flavor to my veggies as well. So into my pan, and I'm just looking to brown them up nicely. A little bit of olive oil in your pan can help a lot so it doesn't stick. So I'm just going to chop up some green pepper as well. Now I'm going to slice my, my um, green peppers into long slices and then I'm going to dice them. I'm going to do a small dice, not a finely minced dice, but a nice small dice. It's going to be pretty with the flecks of red meat as well as the flecks of green vegetables. And I'm going to make a really quick tomatoey sauce to go in there. The macaroni doesn't always have to be served with cheese. I used about a half of a green pepper. Make sure you're tossing your uh, sausages around and you're stirring your macaroni. Now I want my macaroni to be al dente, really al dente, because it's gonna bake in the oven with some tomato sauce and that's gonna soak up that extra liquid and it's gonna be, you know, the way you want it to be. So I'm just gonna let these guys go for a couple more minutes before adding these vegetables. And I just wanna soften up the vegetables. I'm gonna slice my mushrooms, use whatever kind of mushrooms you have or desire. Now I'm just getting everything chopped now. I have a baked potato that I'm also going to cut up into nice little chunks and I'm going to add that as well into the casserole. Might as well use what you have on hand. Don't waste anything. It'll just be nice contrast. I'm going to brown these potatoes up with the sausage because potatoes are always better brown. That fat from the chorizo is rendering slightly and just mix it all through with those potatoes, get them all coated, and everything should be nice and brown. You can hear it sizzling, it's gorgeous, it smells amazing. I'm just slicing up um, a half of a to fresh tomato that I have and I'm just cutting it into chunks and I'm just going to stir that into the macaroni in the baking dish when I'm ready. I'm not going to uh, pan fry the tomato as well. It doesn't need to. I freshly cracked some black pepper and I'm also going to use some chili flakes when I'm ready. I also have some nice Parmesan cheese ready and we should get started on our tomato sauce. Make sure you're moving your sausages around and stirring your mac. I'm going to get some fresh basil and parsley out of my garden. Okay, my macaroni is done. Drain it. It's time to add my peppers. I'm gonna let these peppers go with the sausage for a couple minutes before I add the mushrooms. Once I've drained my pasta, I like to add it back to the pot and add some olive oil to it so it doesn't all stick. Maybe a tablespoon. Stir it all through and let that sit. All right, I'm ready to add my mushrooms. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna rough chop these herbs because I'm going to add them to my food processor when I'm mixing up a quick tomato sauce. Now I'm not going all out tonight on my tomato sauce. It's gonna be okay. I'm going to do an easy cheat on how to do uh, a nice tomato sauce quickly. I didn't wanna go all the way to the fruit cellar and you know open up a whole can of the gorgeous sauce that we did yet. It's not even cold yet and I don't wanna open those up. So I'm just gonna do a quick, um, quick cheat. That's basil and parsley, about equal amounts. I just want to soften up these veggies a little bit before I throw them into the um, baking dish with the macaroni to bake. I also want them to soak up some of that chorizo flavor, all that gorgeousness. All right, my veggies and sausage look good. I'm just going to turn that off and set it to the side for right now. All right, let's get this um, sauce ready. Okay, I've opened up a can of whole tomatoes. I'm going to mix it together. I don't know if I need all of this sauce, but if I don't use it tonight, I'll definitely use it for something else within the next day or two. I'm going to add my herbs to this that I've just chopped. Now, if you want, you can add onions to that pan and garlic to the pan of the sausage and the vegetables. We have someone in the house that it kind of upsets their stomach, onions and garlic, so we try not to cook with it a lot. Um, so if you want to, you could add the garlic here in the sauce or you can add it to the pan, but uh, feel free to add it. Just don't uh, do what we're doing just because. I'm going to use about a half a can of tomato paste. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of good olive oil, maybe a tea tablespoon, some chili flakes, some freshly cracked black pepper, some salt. A tiny swig of wine. I'm using um, a Malbec. It's from Rancourt Winery here in Niagara. Make sure you check out the review on this stuff. This is a 2012 Malbec Rancourt Winery, okay? Super tasty. And just maybe a teaspoon and a half of sugar. We're gonna zip all this up and we're gonna do a quick taste test to see if we're at where I think we should be. It takes a couple seconds to get where you need it to be. And let's do a quick taste test. Mm. That's beautiful. I don't think I need to do anything to that. The uh, meat is also salty, so I don't need much more salt. It's nice and uh, tangy, but just sweet enough that it takes that edge off of the um, jarred tomatoes and tomato paste. Okay, I'm just gonna grease up my baking dish. Now, I made bacon today for breakfast, and I have my paper towels which uh, drained the bacon, and I'm just using that to grease up the pan. Um, otherwise, you can use butter, olive oil, you could spray it with cooking spray, whatever it is you feel that you like. This has just a little bit extra flavor, and nothing goes to waste. Okay, I'm gonna mix everything in my pot because it's bigger than my baking dish to do so. So I'm gonna add these tomatoes chop them a little bit better than this. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, add those tomatoes. I'm also gonna add my sausage and my veggies. Look how gorgeous those are. Just stir that through. All right, I'm gonna pour uh, maybe half of this in here and see where we're at. Okay, it's gonna need more than that, a little bit more. Eyeball it. You'll see how it is. Um, you know what, how much sauce you like on your pasta. Go according to your own taste. Let's do a quick taste test. Gorgeous. Okay. Right. I'm going to pour this all into my roasting pan. Spread it as evenly as you can. Nice. Now I'm going to add a little bit more sauce on the top. This is going to dry out slightly in the oven, so it's just going to leave behind that gorgeous concentrated flavor. So I guess I won't have any left for tomorrow. I'm actually going to stir this sauce in slightly. Now the beautiful thing about baked pastas is the beautiful hard crust on the top, and that's what we're going to do. I have some breadcrumbs. Now you can use whatever breadcrumbs you have or like. These are sweet potato breadcrumbs. It just happens to be I made sweet potato buns and the rest of them ended up making um, some gorgeous breadcrumbs. So that's probably a cup. I'm going to add maybe half a cup of Parmesan to that. 
And I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil in here. Maybe a tablespoon. And I'm just gonna use my hands and work that olive oil into the crumbs to moisten them. This is gonna help them brown up nicely on the top. It's gonna give a nice little salty crunch. And now once it's the consistency of like wet sand, then you're good to go. So let's top this by just sprinkling the top. If you need some more crumbs, just make some more. Now everything's cooked in here. So really what you're just doing is heating it through, making sure all those flavors are marrying together and crisping up this crust. That's your goal. I'm just gonna push it down so everything's kind of more even-ish. You still have pieces of macaroni sticking through and that's gonna make a nice um, crust. It's gonna be all pretty brown on certain areas more than the others. And that's actually really nice. And there you have it. Into the oven it goes. I'm gonna go maybe 30 to 45 minutes. And we'll see you then. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. And this looks amazing. Now I am going to broil it for a couple minutes just to get the top a little bit more crispy. But boy, does it smell and look really tasty. Oh, so good. So I'm gonna put it back into the oven and I'm going to broil it. I'm gonna leave my oven door ajar. That's what I do when I broil so that I can see what's going on. You don't wanna burn it. You wanna just broil it. Okay. I want the top to look browned and just starting to crisp up and get a little bit charred too. All right, we're in the home stretch. So I just grabbed some more fresh parsley and basil and I'm just going to do a nice mince so I can sprinkle it on top of each bowl when I serve it. Now you can serve this family style in a large pasta bowl or you can individually plate it. I'm using bowls instead of plates this evening. Okay, this looks good, it's done. There's the timer. Now, look at this glorious baking dish full of macaroni with tomato sauce and chorizo and peppers and mushrooms. Uh, see how it's nice and browned in little bits? Just what I want. Now make sure you have your fresh herbs and some extra Parmesan uh, for serving. All right, so let's serve this up. It's crispy on the top. I've actually had to crunch through that topping. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. There's gonna be leftovers for tomorrow, which will be perfect for school lunches as well. Make sure you get that nice, crispy, crunchy top for people. That's my favorite part. And the little bits of macaroni that have crunched up too. Oh, gorgeous. All right, sprinkle with your um, herbs, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and you're off to the races. Look at that. That would rival any baked ziti for sure. Well, the only thing left to do is taste it. Let's do it. I want some of the crispy, crunchy top. Mmm. 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 I just got a little bit of everything. That crispy, crunchy top, a little bit of the hard, crispy pasta from the top as well. A beautiful taste of chorizo, a nice piece of pepper. The tomato is nice and rich and concentrated. That flavor is really nice and tangy and bright. Mm. The herbs, everything's just right. Mm. Boy, that's good. Oh boy. Mm. Mm. I forgot about the potatoes in there. The little chunks of potatoes are really tasty, nice and crispy. You can tell that they were browned up first with the sausage. Mmm, boy, that's good. You gotta try making this. Mmm. All right, well, everyone's ready to eat in the house, and I'm ready to finish my plate, too. This is a really tasty dinner. I hope that you try it. Wasn't too tough. Um, and look at all what you have left. It's gonna be awesome. You have all dinner tonight. You can have seconds or even midnight snacks and leftovers for tomorrow's lunch or dinner. Awesome, stellar. You just cut your work in half, right? I love it. So that's it. That's how you bake macaroni with tomato sauce, chorizo, and peppers. 
you can do it too, okay? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com. Come subscribe and interact with us. Let us know what's going down in your culinary world and check out the Italian category. All kinds of pasta recipes, all right? That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.